Deploy and manage Apex with SQL Developer. So far we've seen how we can manage our application using scripts and supplied APIs. However, Oracle also provides a GUI interface with SQL Developer. This provides faster interactions with the environment. First, we can head over to SQL Developer and establish a connection with our workspace schema. In this case, it's packed. We can use this connection navigator to find the Application Express node, which is here, and we can use this to view the metadata of our applications. So there's our PAC7 child application. These are the application properties. I can open this tab up and see the pages. Across here, I can also have a look at what computations and other components may exist within my application. But what we can do here is modify our application. For instance, set a global notification. So here I'll paste in a notification and I'll apply those changes. So let's now set it to this. So if I go to my runtime, I get this message up the top. Shut down for maintenance in five minutes. Please save. So now if I go back to modify the application and then I change the status, I set it to unavailable. And note we can have a look at the SQL that's been actioned here. So it's defining an autonomous transaction that's going to set some context and then set the status of this particular application ID to be unavailable. So if I apply that, it's been changed. If I go to refresh my page, it's now unavailable. And we can customise this message as well. So we've been able to control access from of our applications, not via the browser, but directly using the interface provided to us using SQL Developer. These features provide us with a quick mechanism to control access during the deployment of new versions of our application, and we can also use it to configure the Apex listener. In the final video of this section, we'll look at a third-party script to improve the developer productivities.